viewers uh, today we see the problem on arithmetic that is the crypt arithmetic problem now this problem is classified under the artificial intelligence so this problem is a full trial and error based problem so this will take an uh, considerable amount of time to solve such kind of problems so i'm going to show you uh, how to solve a problem on crypt arithmetic like this is the problem they have given like cent plus more is equal to money now you don't understand basically what does the cent plus more is equal to money but this is how the crypt arithmetic problem is basically structured so first for doing this we'll write each of the alphabets uh, in the order like uh, one alphabet at a time no repetition should be there like s e n d and m o r y will not repeat the letters which have already come like we have we will take only one occurrence of each of these letters and we'll assign each of these letters from 0 to 9 like uh, we have done for uh, from s to y so after you do this now you have to uh, basically assign these digits to this alphabets so for that first for any of this problem we first have to assign the leftmost alphabet as 1 now i will write the value of each alphabet here in bracket now since m is 1 you will write here also a 1 means m is 1 that is constant for sure now you will search for m here and you will circle it and make sure that you will cancel the all other ones like each of the alphabet can take only one digit and also m cannot take any other digit so we will cancel out all these next is that we have to solve this equation now how will we solve this equation now obviously if here it is a one there should be carry there should be a carry here like one should be carried down now what gives you some value as a carry here means obviously here it should be 10 like o should be 0 then only it would be 0 1 so 0 carry 1 now for this thing th should be to be 0 we have to assign s as 9 it's like 9 plus 1 gives you 10 that is 0 of the units place and 1 should be carried here so this equation is somewhat uh, solved uh, half part is solved so after this make sure that you cancel out and assign o here also so o is here so cancel all the zeros as well as cancel this now this is a matrix or this is a reference that your numbers have been consolidated and so you can stress on this uh, you should not have any confusions regarding this it is a very easy you have to just circle and cancel out the rest of the possibilities now the numbers left are 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 of this 0 and 1 has been ruled out now after this Uh, we also have s so s we circle it as 9 and cancel all the other 9s as well as we will cancel all these now the numbers left are 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 now we have to assign these numbers to these digits now how will you assign this now if we talk about now we will start with 2 if you assign 2 to e then 2 plus 0 gives you 2 but each alphabet can take only one single digit so e cannot be if e is 2 then n cannot be 2 n should be certainly some other value so no equation or no balancing can be done yeah if you carry a one here then uh, that would be a difficult task so 2 should not be there or 2 will not come here if you put 3 also then also it will create such kind of problem so 3 also is not the possible or the compatible uh, value or the digit to this next uh, you cannot try 4 also it will also get the same but a middle value of 5 you can assign 5 here and you can assign 5 here also and so here e is 5 now uh, this value should be something else now 5 plus 0 cannot be 5 so e cannot be 5 n cannot be 5 now 
for this you will add a carry here means 5 plus 1 6 so n should be 6 here now let us check whether this is right so that we will come to know after you move towards the right hand side of this equation now after this if n is 6 means here also it is 6 and uh, now mind you this is 5 uh, so if it is like 6 plus 8 means r should take a value as 8 so 6 plus 8 is 14 but here it is 5 so it should be 15 so you have to add a carry one means from here you had a carry here means 6 plus 1 7 7 plus 8 is 15 and this 5 carry one here 5 plus 1 6 and this equation is balanced now now we have to assign for d what value will you assign to d now left out is so you will cancel it like n is 6 so n is 6 and cancel all other values as well as n cannot take all these so cancel it out as well as uh, e is 5 so e is 5 and cancel these 5's and so cancel this uh, next is you have to assign d now how will you assign d uh, you cannot assign same digit or you cannot assign 9 because 9 already has taken by s so left out is 7 that is possible that is 7 plus 5 is 12 so 2 should come here and 1 is a carry here 6 plus 1 7 7 plus 8 is 15 15 plus 1 is that is a uh, carry will be there 5 plus 1 6 so n is 6 and 9 plus 1 that is 10 now this is separate s to n this we have done separately and this is the main part so i will draw a line here so this is this is the preliminary step this is the first step we have to do now this is the step after this now for doing this uh, now we will cancel out the d also so d turns out to be 7 and so cancel out all these sevens and uh, this also yeah so we don't require 2 3 4 also so we just cancel out it so you have you can see from the graph you have used 0 1 5 6 7 as well as 9 and 2 also certainly 2 was for y this was for y and you cancelled it yeah so now you will tally this how to tally this just add the numbers which uh, I have written in brackets so like 9 5 6 7 plus 1 0 8 5 now you have to add this simple addition 7 plus 5 is 12 carry 1 15 1 6 1 0 so this turns out to be same 1 0 6 5 2 1 0 6 5 2 so this says that uh, this equation which have solved by trial and error so this problem is completely based on trial and error so you have to do this infinite times then only you will arrive at a feasible solution so this is the crypt arithmetic problem in detail so it will take a considerable amount of time to solve so hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video